Hello, everybody. <coughs> I am making some bows for a friend's Christmas tree. And I thought, I know that I already have a bow video um, out there, but I am going to do another one because I just don't think you can have enough bow videos out there. So I am going to do another one. So my friend wants a bow on the top of her Christmas tree. So I am going to make her a big fluffy bow. Now her Christmas tree kind of, well it doesn't kind of, it does. It's viewable from all sides of her um, family room. So this is gonna be two bows that I'm gonna put together so that it's one big puffy bow on the top of her tree. So this is gonna be a big puffy bow. So in order to make this, um, I'm gonna put two bows together. So what you do is you're gonna make a loop and you kinda of want this loop to come back on itself and in, the reason is is because you want the wire to catch all of it. So see how it's kind of you know a circle in there. Now this is wire two and a half inch ribbon. So my first loop is like that and then you give it a little twist in the back here okay and then I'm gonna make my first little loop okay and then in the back I'm holding everything back here with my with my hand decide how big you want your loops to be okay and then you're gonna twist it again and the reason you twist it is because you want everything to be held together. And that will help hold everything together. So figure out how big you want your loop to be. Try to keep everything as straight as you can keep it. figure out how big you want. I want my loop to be about that big and then I'm gonna twist it and hold on to it back here, okay? And you want your pattern you can, you know, stretch them out to make sure the same size and you want your pattern to be the right side so that's another reason why you twist it. So if you twist it then when you go to do the bow again on the other side, your pattern is the right side. So lay it out, make sure your loops are the same size, hold it, and then twist it. And then your pattern is the same size again. Okay, so go ahead and lay it out, make sure your bows, your loops are the same size, and then just simply twist it and hold on to it. Okay, and then your ribbon is once again the right side. And so I want three loops that are the same size. So make sure they're the same size and then twist it and then put it behind your finger like that. Okay, so we've got two on this side so I need one more this size. This is gonna be a six loop bow. I'm gonna make sure they're about the same size and then I'm just gonna simply twist it and hold it with my finger. So I've got all of this. I'm holding all of this with my finger here. Just pinching it. Okay, so I've got three on this side and I've got three on this side. Okay, and they're all the same size. Okay, and now I'm going to make my next ones bigger, about an inch bigger. Okay, so I made my new loop, make it the size I want it, and then I'm going to twist it my pattern is back facing the right direction another inch bigger 
it does get to be a lot to hold in your in your fingers and I have small hands but so it's doable I'm gonna twist that tuck it into my finger make sure it's about an inch okay and so now I want these loops to be the same size so I'm just gonna stretch it out and eyeball it make sure and then I'm gonna twist it and put tuck it into my finger there now these rolls have 25 inches, yes, or I'm sorry, 25 feet. So I'm gonna make sure my bow is the same and then I'm gonna twist it, make sure they're the same, get it straightened out there so that my pattern is once again going the right direction. Make sure it's the same size. I'm gonna twist it. And I need one more on this side. I've already got three. If it's not long enough, just tug it a little bit and get it the same size. Okay, can you still see what I'm doing? I need one more over here. Okay, make sure it's about the same size. And then I'm gonna give it a twist. If you twist it, it holds everything nicely together. So this is what we've got. This is what we look like. Okay. I know it looks like a mess right now, but it won't after we get done with it. So this is what we've got. Okay, so now to make our tail, we're gonna pull some of this out. We're gonna decide how long we want our tail to be. And then we're gonna simply make a tail. We're gonna bring this back in and we want our um, pattern once again to be facing the right direction and we're going to tuck that in there make sure we've got the roll side we're not cutting the tail and cut about an inch leave about an inch okay and then just tuck that behind your your finger like that and make sure you've got all of your pieces in here and then you're going to need some floral wire and I always forget to cut my floral wire before this part. So I'm usually always holding this like this. And I've got yarn here because I just made pom-poms. And you're gonna cut some wire. I have a pretty good sized piece here. And I'm going to actually fold this in half. Fold it. Okay, I'm gonna stick my looped part through my loop on my bow. I'm gonna flip this whole thing over. Grab my ends, and at this point I'm just gonna smush it all down on my tabletop. Find my loop, my wire loop, stick my tails through it, and just give it a tug. Get it nice and tight all of that in there and just give it a nice tight tug. Okay, then I'm gonna separate my two tails. Again, pulling on them. Flip it back over. I'm gonna send one tail through my loop this direction. Pull it through. Get my other tail the other direction, cross them, flip my bow back over, and then I'm gonna pull on them, and then I'm going to twist them together so that that's nice and secure. Okay, and this is what we've got now. So. We've got this loopy down here, which we're gonna cut, because this is gonna be our tails, and then this is what our bow looks like. It looks kind of messy, right? Because we've flattened it down, we've smushed on it. Doesn't look too pretty at this point, but we're gonna fluff it all up. We can actually take that part 
that kind of fold it over on itself and cut as much off that we need to so that it doesn't look all funky in there. Kind of fold the ends onto itself and make that middle part look pretty and kind of fluff up each one of your fluff up each one of your bow pieces. Get some shape back into those on each side. Okay, so you've got six loops on each side. Okay, so that's what it looks like fluffed up, which it still isn't looking all that great. But now what you're going to do is, this is your center, you're going to take a piece on each side and you're going to pull one up and you're going to pull one down, okay? One up and one down. One up and one down. Okay, this is my center. So this, the closest one went down, so this one's going to go up. One up and one down. Up and down. Up and down. Okay, and then you're just going to re-fluff those and get it to where you want it, where it looks good and fluffy. And then when you get it um, on your tree, you can also fluff it up some more. That's why you need the wire ribbon so that it will hold its shape. Fold it by its tails. this beautiful fluffy the towels are hanging down here okay So there's one, and then down here, I'm going to put your ends together. And then you can fork it, or you can just cut a diagonal. I'm going to fork these, as I think that that looks prettier. You just fold them in half, and then cut. And then you've got forked tails on your ribbon. Okay, so there's one half of the bow for the top. <coughs> and then we're going to do a second one. I'm probably not going to have enough <coughs> on that one, so I'm going to go ahead and use the second one. I got two of these. These are only 25 feet on each one. So again, I'm going to make this part the center part. Kind of go around on itself. I like to put that back there on the floor. It just works better for me. Okay, so this is kind of going around on itself here, and I have to remember what about what size I had that. Give it a twist. Get it going the right direction for my hands to work. Give it a twist. 
make my first loop, give it a twist, my second loop, and I always like to check them to make sure that I've got them about the same size, twist, one's a little bit bigger, twist, kind of bunch all of that together. I made it too small, so I'm just going to pull some out there. Get that all bunched in there. Second loop on this side. Give it a twist. Second loop on this side. twist, give it a twist, okay, now these ones I want them to be about an inch bigger. Twist your ribbon. It rolls up on itself down there, so just straighten some of it out. And give it a twist. It's a little bit longer than I want it. There we go. And I like to check these. It's be a little bit longer. Okay, twist. So we need three of the longer ones. Make sure they're about the same. So number two on this side. Number three on this side. Number three on this side. Okay, and we need a loop down here. Let's see how long I made my tail. It's about right. Of course, I forgot to cut my wire again. Now this wire I'm going to make longer because I got to have something to hold it onto the tree. So this one's going to be pretty long. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to fold it in half. Okay, so I have my loop here. Cut this off. About an, leave about an inch. Get that all bunched together. Take my wire and I put it through my hole there. I'm going to flip this whole thing over. Push it down on my desk. Feed my tails through my loop of my wire. Okay, and pull. Tight and then tight. 
flip over, I have a tail on each side at this point. I'm going to put one tail through the ribbon loop, the other tail go in the opposite direction, flip it back over. Now you can tie this any way, so don't, you know, if you don't understand how I'm doing this, the object is is just to make this tight so that nothing comes apart and then I twist it. Okay, and then I'm going to leave that long tail on there like that. Okay, and then we've got this that looks like a complete mess, but once you fluff everything up, you can make some sense out of it. So you've got six loops on either side of your little middle loop, your center. So I like to fluff them up first just so that I know where I'm at here. Okay, find my center loop again. This time I got that pretty short in there so I don't need to cut anything. And then I'm going to take on the same side, I'm going to pull one up and pull one down. Okay, and the next one I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull the next two, one up and one down. One up and one down just to kind of get them separated. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. One up, one down. Okay, and then you can start to form your loops. give them some shape. Get them where you want them to be. You know, maneuver them wherever you need them to be. And then once you get them on the tree, you'll have to mess with them as well. This wire is pretty thin, so it loses its shape quite easily. But once it's on the tree, you can easily reform those. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to find the middle like this. I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to simply cut it, cut it the wrong way. Sorry, you want to cut it that way to get these forks. Ow, and it just stabbed me. Okay, so now I've got this long wire here. So here's our other bow. So then you want to take the back, the backs of your two bows, and I should have made my wire on this one longer because it's pretty darn short and you can do two two things you can hot glue these together or you can wire them together my wire on this one is pretty short let me find my other one my other end i like to wire them just in case you're going to use them for something different the following year there's not going to be ugly glue stuck to the back of it. So they're pretty easy to wire. You just butt them up together like this. Get them pretty snug together with each other. And twist. And you've got this really big rough ball. You've got a ribbon coming down the center of it and then when she puts this on her tree she 
she can fluff this up and it looks like one big bow. And then it's puffy from every side of the tree that she looks. Okay. You can make these bigger, you can make them smaller. All right, so there you go. Beautiful, right? You guys can see I'll try to take pictures of them on her tree as well. But you can really get it puffed up on there. All right, so that's for the top of her tree. Now I am gonna save what's left on these rolls because we may use this for garland, or she may want me to make some other bows. There's, there's a bit left on each one of these. That's how much, but we could use this as garland too, so. But she did want some other little bows on to decorate our tree with. Whoops, one of them just fell. So I did, she did pick out another ribbon. So I got her this. Isn't that cute? And it kind of, you know, it, it has the polka dots. I love it. So stinking cute. So I'm going to make the same type of bow, but not with as many loops. Okay. So I'm going to still make a loopy bow but it's not going to have as many loops on it because this is going on the tree. Okay, and she's also putting balls on the tree, bulbs. So I just threw that on the ground. This is, that other one is more like a mesh and this is more like a silk. Very, very cute. So I'm going to twist. I made one loop there. I'm going to make another loop here and I'm going to twist. Now if you get the thinner stuff, this one is one and a half inches okay it is a little bit easier to work with thinner if you get thinner ribbon so you might want to start out with a thinner ribbon if you're making these for the first time so i'm going to put it back here and i'm going to twist now i want these to be the same size i'm only going to make a four a four loop and I'm going to twist. Okay, those are the same size. Now these ones I'm going to make a little bit bigger. Okay, I love this ribbon, it's so cute. Twist. And what's nice about this is I am getting some fallout of the glitter which she's kind of allergic to the glitter. So um, she was a bit worried about glitter. But I'm happy to say that I'm not getting a lot of fallout. So I might actually spray this with some fixative.
this wire seems to be stiffer too. Well, it's obviously the ribbon is stiffer because it's a satin. It's just a stiffer ribbon all, all around. So I'm gonna cut this. Okay, and I'm gonna fold this back over like this. So that's gonna be my tail. Piece of wire here. You get used to working with minimal digits when you forget to cut wire, which I do every time, so it's really like no biggie for me because that's just the way I am. Okay, so I just undid one of my loops. Okay, so twist, fold this back onto itself, make sure you get your tail in there. Again, loop. I want my tails to go through my loop. I'm going to pull it tight, make sure everything is in there. Pull it tight. Separate my tails. Again, pulling it tight. One tail is going to go through this way. One tail is going to go through the opposite way. I'm going to flip it back over. Again, I'm pulling it and I'm twisting. And I'm leaving this on here so she has a way to connect this to her tree. I'm going to take my tails and I'm going to fold it and I'm going to cut from the wire end at an angle and then I'm going to get these forked tails. Okay, fluff. Now she could leave them like this because I know she likes the layered bow look. I think that's too many layers for this. Four is just too many unless she wants to smash them. Which that doesn't look good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and separate them out. Pull this direction. Since I pulled that one down and that one up, I'm going to go the opposite. Okay, same here. I'm going to go the opposite. Okay, since this one went up, I'm going to pull this one down. All right, still holding on to the backs here and holding on to my center. I'm going to go ahead and fluff all of this. Pulling it down where I want it to be. I want this one to be down. I want this one to be up. Get your fingers inside of it. Pull it. Pull it. I've got these cute, cute little polka dot bows. Okay, now I am actually going to send her a picture. You can push this wire up into the center to fill in. Let me grab my wire and pull it to the back here. Push that up into the center. Push it up into the center to fill out the center of your bow. Okay. And then you've got this beautiful, cute little bow, and here's your tails. And pull them down. That's the great thing about wire. And then you've got this beautiful little bow. Isn't that cute? So I got her two rolls of these. She only wanted 
one but I thought she would want more than just one row of these bows so I'm gonna send her some pictures and just see how she likes them and I'll make you guys one more of these if this is what she wants to go with so I'll let you know in a minute Okay, you guys, so let me make one more of these smaller ones for you. So, you're going to make your loop. Okay, make sure that you've got enough to where it catches the wire. You're going to twist it. I like to start with it going this way. I have to have my wire back, back behind me, so I just threw it on the floor. Okay, I need to make my first loop, and I'm gonna give it a twist. That's a little bit big for my first one. Give it a twist, and it's going the right direction now. Make my second, that's actually a little bit big still. So let me, Get it the size, make sure you get it the size you want it. It's about the size I want it. Give it a twist and stick it back behind your finger. Okay, make your second one. See if they're even, give it a twist. Okay, second loop, give it a twist. Straighten it out. Second loop on this side, give it a twist. Okay, now this one's going to be bigger because this is only a four loop bow. Get it the size you want it. Give it a twist. You're really only giving it a half of a twist to hold it all in place and also because you need your ribbon to be the right direction. Second loop on this side, you can test it. When you're making a, them smaller like this, it's a little bit easier to kind of eyeball it. Okay, half a twist. So I've got one on this side, one on this side, so I need to make another one over here. Get your ribbon to lay right for you. You want it to be pretty even. It doesn't have to be exact, but you want it to be pretty even. Okay. a twist. Okay, we're at the end. So let's see, I got four bows out of 30 feet. So I'll be able to give her eight of these smaller bows. So I'm glad I went ahead and picked her up an extra roll of this. Okay, so this is what I've got on my end. I'm just going to take my end, place it in here. And that will be my tail. Perfect. I'm going to roll some wire, clip it, fold it in half. Got my loop. Okay, I'm sticking it through the loop of the ribbon. I'm going to feed my wire tails through the loop of my wire. And I'm going to pull. Holding on to all of that really securely, I'm just going to tighten that up, separate my wire tails, give those a tug, feed one, one direction through the loop of my ribbon, and the other one the other way, flip it, and twist. Now it's secure. I'm going to take my towels. I'm going to fold those in half. Okay, from the wire side, I'm going to go from the corner up, flip those, and get forks. Okay, so I'm going to pull one loop up, one loop down, one loop up, one loop down. The other side, I'm going to go the opposite direction. One loop down, one up, one down, one up. And then I'm going to fluff. Fluff. 
buff. Grab my wire back here. Get everything nice and round. Okay. There you go. So I got four bows out of a row, so that means she'll have eight nice bows for her tree. Okay, so I'm going to keep making these, and I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, God bless. Bye-bye.